Ladies and gentlemen, this is a YouTube show in which you are brought Slot Machine Sunday, Money Cards Monday, Tic Tac Tuesday, Whammy Mania Wednesday, Thundercracker Thursday, and Flinging Dice Friday and Saturday Superstar Arcade. Also, wrestling news from Raw, NXT 2.0, AEW Dynamite, NXT UK, Impact Wrestling, SmackDown and 205 Live, and AEW Rampage. And special episodes from Rodin Up, Cyber Swaggin, and the Philosophies of Lee McLeese. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube show of fun, of knowledge, strategy, luck, and daring, and mental shenanigans. This is WEML TV Channel 77. And now here's the host of the show, live from New Bedford, Massachusetts. It is none other than Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, for that lovely intro. Hello there. It's your friendly neighborhood, bumbling bofa raver, the five-time, 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 2021 Bozy Awards nominee, Eric Lima coming at you with a channel that could be a Bozy Award nominee this year. It's WEML TV, Channel 77, Episode 1007, February 28, 2022, 3.52 p.m. Last day of February, that means I'm going through my February final thoughts. Actually, my February 2022 final thoughts. Been the most bizarre month that we all been through. I mean, holy Christmas me. I'm telling you, it's going to be something right now. Now. <clears throat> I want to start off, okay, um, I wasn't going to talk about this, and I made a promise to my friend Jordan Little, but the reason why I'm going to talk about this and talk about this only because I got something, is sometimes when an incident happens, all right, you sit back, and sometimes you sit back and keep your mouth shut, that way you can hear what people are saying, but at the same time, you learn a lot from the situation. That's All the situations in, li in, in, in life that I've gone through in the past, I've realized... You know what is happening what I did wrong sometimes what I did wrong or said wrong or whatever I learn from the situation you learn from the situation to make sure you don't do it again all right you learn you know that's basically a lot more said song you live you learn you know songs kind of like it has a catchy beat and you're like boom I recommend mine enough more than you can do to anyone and I certainly do you know <clears throat> I thought it was really wild. So, yeah, because that's been a, a bizarre month. Um, we had an incident happen this past Friday. We were doing AEW Rampage um, live reaction to um, my friend Jordan Little and Brendan Martin. Because I'm telling the story because I think mostly everybody's associated with me has known about this story by now. So, anyways, myself and another uh, a panelist who will, will, I'm not going to name. That's the only thing I'm not, I'm not going to name is that. That panelist that involved, you know, was the main subject of the incident. So, anyways, we're talking, we're chatting, and the subject of the incident was was has has his PlayStation controller. He's playing a game. One of our um, loyal chat and also uh, loyal chatters, also on the live chat, also a friend of Jordan and Brandon's, and became a friend of mine. Joked, he likes to joke around, bust balls. He's a He's a roaster. He likes to roast people. He's like the modern to me. He's like the modern day Don Rickles. So. So, anyways, and, and he knows. Oh, you got a controller. What are you playing? Beat them and eat them, right? And for those of you who do not know, it is an actual game. It's an Atari Twenty Six Hundred. It's an adult game. That's why you don't see it. The reason why I have, you know, I've heard about it, but never played it or anything because I was too young, obviously. It was not for kids, and it, you know, even if it was, even if I, it was, all it is is just you know blocky animation because the technology wasn't as advanced back, wasn't as good back then as it is now, obviously. So it, it wasn't game, and I've read about it. I possibly, I think it was in that Pac-Man book when they were selling stuff, and they saw, oh, and they saw that. So I think I saw that in the Pac-Man book, in the by Billy Galaxy book. I think that's what. So, and, uh, so the subject took offense to that and started, um, saying, um, uh, you know, slurs, uh, calling them the F word, calling them the R word, 
calling him the racist N-word. I just want to call it the racist N-word. And then started threatening his family, and mentioning Russia. And it went off the rails. And before all that happened, I joked, oh, Romy, this is your fault. And I was like, what happened? And, you know, I was joking. And Romy knew I was joking. But because I, because him and I thought this would be turned out to be a very funny banter, funny roast. So like those D. Martin celebrity roasts, you know, but it went down, it went south to the point where me, Brandon, and Jordan were embarrassed. We were embarrassed to the hilt. And I, no, I, and I, even I hid my, I hid my, I went like this a couple of times. At first, you know, I did the hand grenade thing thinking that, oh, it's going to be, it's going to blow up to be a funny roast and we're all going to laugh. We're going to lose it. And no, it turned downright serious. And it got to the point where Jordan says, please leave. Um, please leave, sir. Please leave. And, he, and the subject tried to apologize. Said, Please leave. We're good to go. Then, um, this past Saturday, um, he made a statement. Uh, Jordan Little made a statement about it. And he decided to suspend. Um, he took every mod uh, privilege away from this subject. He, took, uh, he suspended him for um, from, the, from the panel for a year. And, you know... Suspended him off the chat for a month, which is a good decision to make. But the subject still was pestering about, hey, I'm sorry for what I, you know, he's, 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 he apologized. He was commenting on it. He was commenting on a video um, made by ZTB, which is an uh, intervention for, uh, for this, this individual. He said, hey, I'm sorry. I want to apologize. And I said, I want to make it right. I said, listen, you, you know, I told him, I said, listen, you dug this. You, listen, you, you made your bed. Now you have to line it, basically, you know. So he says he wants to apologize. He said, I told him you can't. He kicked you off. You have a problem with it. You talk to him. And, he, and he's whining and complaining about it still. And then Jordan finally set him straight, which I had to thank John for that because I was getting pestered as well. So. Make the long story short, you know, that's what happened. And um, what I got out of that is we have to watch our words. Seriously, we have to watch our words. Especially us born again Christians. Now, in the book of Proverbs, you talk about death and life and are in the power of the tongue. And we have to watch our words. Especially now in this day and age with the age of the internet, cancel culture, woke culture, and all that. Now, I am a born again Christian. And yes, I do not like the lifestyle of, of the... Of the, uh, I do not like the gay lifestyle. But there are friends of mine who are living that lifestyle. Now, what do I do? How do I handle this situation as a Christian? I want to, I want to set the best example ever. But the Bible never said anything about hating a certain group of people. The Bible says just love one another and be kind. We have to be kind to others. We have to be, you know... Be kind to others. And the Bible also says that love your enemies, bless them that curse you. Believe me, ever since I got the internet and been, been on YouTube for, since 2011, I've been troll. I was trolled on for four years. In fact, there, between 2018 and 2020, there was a bit of a break in the trolling until it started intensifying in 2020 because the pandemic drove everybody crazy. So... We have to watch our words. We Christians have to watch our words. We have to set the example for other people. We pray, you know, we, 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 I love everybody. And we're supposed to love people. We don't have to love the lifestyle they're living in. We don't have to do that. We don't have to get involved in that. Or even support it. We just pray for those. We, we pray for, I pray for everybody. I always pray for my friends. I pray for my family. And I pray that one day they will understand why it's wrong. You know, why, why the, some of the stuff that we don't approve of is wrong. But... That does not mean I'm going to bash people, call everybody the F word, call, um, uh, the the um, sexual slur F word, the the racist N word, or even the social slur, the R word, if you know what I'm talking about. Because to me, okay, here's the deal. Back in the day for me, the sexual slur F word, the racist N word, and the social slur R word were swear words, right? Other, aside from the usual words you hear in movies, of R-rated movies, or adult movies. Those three words, they don't sound like swears, but they are. Back in the day. 
That's why I refrain to talk from talking to saying those words on here. That's why also I refrain from um, bashing the communities, you know, because it's political and all that. Yes, I know they're wrong. But in the back, you know, but I got to remember what the Bible says. Love on people. It doesn't, you know, love doesn't necessarily mean romantic love. Like, oh, you know, you go on a romantic dinner and then <clears throat> put on romantic music. So like Paris Whisper by Wham or something like that. No, it's like, you know, like you want to go up to that person, put your arm around and say, hey, everything's going to be all right, buddy. I got you. You know, I love you, man. Like a brother, you know, like family, you know, agape love, unconditional love. We don't have to approve of what they're doing, but we just got to pray for them. We got to pray for them. We got to love them. Love them where they're at. Show, the, uh, show that example, you know. Is it easy? No, 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 no. It has never been easy. It just become a Christian doesn't mean I'm perfect. I'm not better than anybody else. Think I'm MJF or freaking CM Punk? No. I'm just Eric Lima. Listen, we all sin, dudes. We're not perfect people. I know we're supposed to be put on this high pedestal and all. Yeah, there's some, there's some stuff that Christians do that kind of were embarrassments. I did some things that I'm not proud of either. Am I perfect? Nope. I'm not better than anyone else. So what right do I have to bash other people? It's better to put the big old speck out of your own eye than to pick a, a speck out of another eye. But you get the plug... You had to gouge out the log from your, remove the log from your own eye first. You know, so I believe that's in the Bible. You know, it's crazy. So yeah, because nowadays with the woke culture, cancel culture, we have to be very, very careful what we say and what we do. So as a born again Christian, that includes me. But I want to, you know, I want to talk to people like in a positive way. You know, I want to say, hey, you know, God loves you. It doesn't matter what you are, gay, straight, black, white. God loves you. He does not like the sin you're involved in, but he loves you. God loves you. And they say, what does that have to do with the incident that happened Friday? Especially, uh, but the bottom, the bottom line is we have to watch our words and be careful what we say. We have to watch our words. We have to make sure that we behave ourselves. Even when we go on other people's streams and channel, we've got to be respectful. We have to be respectful, respectful no matter what. No matter... No matter, no matter what. And, set, and for me, as a Christian, I have to set that example. Am I going to be perfect? Heck no. Trust me. Trust me. If, there, if I was a perfect Christian, I wouldn't be doing any of this. I wouldn't be living in the basement. I wouldn't be having a minimum wage job. I wouldn't be doing it. I'd be, I would be living in a mansion and uh, having all these crazy cars. All these, all, you, know, it's, you know, I live in the worst city in the world. I could say New Bedford sucks. I could say all sorts of things. But you know what, though? As long as the Lord's got me, I'm good. You know? As long as I got friends that like me, I'm good. As long as I got a family that loves me, I'm good. Yeah. I know trolls are going to be saying something. You know what, though? I know exactly what to do. They know what, I, what I'm going to do. I've always been a firm believer. Actions speak louder than words, man. <coughs> Excuse me. But at the end of the day, I know exactly what to do, what to say, how to say it. I always pray to God, give me wisdom. When King Solomon prayed to the Lord for wisdom, and that's all you want all you wanted was wisdom. Wisdom to run the con run the, the, the country of Israel as a king. And God the Lord asked him, Hey, what else do you want? Nothing. I just want to run I just want to run it the way you would run it. Okay, fine. You get everything else. Basically, what he said. I always said thanks. I think, you know. <laughs> you know, because <clears throat> he didn't ask for riches or anything like that, and Solomon got him because God said you didn't ask for him, you get him. And that's what I want to do. That's why I focus my YouTube videos on nothing but fun and entertainment. I don't talk politics, religion, you know, the social agendas that are out there. Uh, that's why. That's why. Because I want to, I want people to like, I don't care if you're a gay, straight, black, or white. If you like video games, game shows, wrestling talk, sports talk, and you want to, and you subscribe to my channel for those things, I appreciate it. I would welcome it. 
and say hello to me once in a while and say hello, put a smile on the face, talk to wrestling. Talking wrestling, I know Vaughn Baskin and I, he comes up with crazy ideas. It aggravates me, I know. But I try to set him straight. He said, listen, I'm going by the storylines. This is what I'm doing. You just you're gonna have to watch it. Sometimes I get a little curt with him sometimes. But you not like her name. I get a little curt with him sometimes. But Vaughn I gotta get said Vaughn straight because I'm over a wrestling, bigger wrestling fan than he is. I've been a wrestling fan a lot longer than he has. Alright, I've been watching the shows. Has he been paying attention? I don't know. I don't think so. But you know what? So what? So I don't care if you're gay, straight, black, white. Believe in God or not, if you like my videos, if you like what I bring, the entertainment, I'll be more, please subscribe and be more than welcome to have you, happy to have you, and say welcome to my crazy world. Hope you have some fun here. You have a prayer request? Let me know. I'll pray for you. I always want to like people. That's, I, I, you know, Bible says be kind. Love one another. Love your enemies, bless them and curse you. I had to block a lot of trolls, but you know what? I don't hate the trolls, but I gotta learn. They have to learn a lesson of respect, man. That's that's basically what it is. Until you learn how to respect me and stop spreading lies about me, I have to block you. I'm sorry. That's the way it is. That's the way it goes for me. I like to be respected. I want to. If you see me respect, I'll show you respect back. You know, do unto others. I want to love people. You know, John three sixteen. For God so loved the world, I mean, He loved all the people in it. He doesn't love the sins they have gotten themselves involved in. Well, I'm a sinner. I did some things that God does not like. But I'm trying to change my ways. I'm trying to change my attitude. I'm trying to do things the right way. And that's why I want to... That's why I love you guys. I love everybody. So that's what I'm trying to do. That's why I have these videos full of entertainment. No drama. No nothing. Alright, the reason why I'm saying this... Because it is the final... Because a lot of things have happened... I figured I get a lot about it. I also want to give a shout out to Jordan Little for hand, not handling that situation this past, um, this over the weekend. I want to give a shout out to ZTB as well. We're trying to be a voice of reason. We're trying to um, explain what's going on and how we should handle it in the in the future. ZTB, I have a shout out to you and Jordan Little. Much respect. Please subscribe for both of their channels, please. They have a, they always like they have great minds. They like to speak their minds, but at the same time, they like to entertain, and have fun, just like me. Okay, and um, I want to, you know, give them a applaud and give them a shout out, please. Um, uh, you know, please subscribe to their channels. ZTB and Jordan Little, um, J Man's legit. You know, you guys are awesome in try and handling that situation and what to do about it, and also, and bringing and we're bringing people together, people that have not talked to each other in quite a while. You know, yeah, it gets it gets tense sometimes, but you know what? The bottom line is, we need to do what Bill and Ted always says: be excellent to each other. Be excellent to each other, man. Be kind. You know, pray for people. You know, we we have, we Christians have to pray for people. You know, we pray that you know people will open up their eyes and see what's really going on behind the scenes. You know, we had a lot of crap going on. We had Russia and Ukraine going at it for some weird. I don't know what what made up what made those two countries lose their minds, and the fact that <clears throat> there are innocent people in both countries. We got to pray for them. You know, we got to pray for them to pray that they're okay. Also, we got um, the Olympics that happened. It was the worst Olympics ever. In fact, oh, you know, let's 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 lighten the mood up with some humor a little bit, okay? I read in an article on the internet that a Finnish skier suffered from. Please forgive me for saying this. This finished, poor finished gear, don't know, I forgot his name, suffered from, when he's going toward the finish line, suffered from frozen penis. I'm trying not to laugh here. And, and, I, and I started cracking up, and my boss said, but my boss had a great logic in that explanation, because he probably wore, a, he said the skier probably wore a suit that kind of like was too light, and you know, and probably, and probably was sweating and everything else. That could be it, and that froze, cause froze up. I, can't, <laughs> I can't believe. I'm like, good lord, what in the world? They say this was the worst Olympics ever because it was, took place in Beijing, and they they were kind of restricted with the COVID virus, and they had a, a controversy, skate, uh, figure skating controversy with a Russian skater, I do believe, um, because the dope, it was the doping scandal. You know, like Russia has more problems to deal with, right? Or 
Ukraine for that matter. I mean, I, like I said, I feel bad for both of those countries, the innocent people in both countries. All you do is, I was like, all we gotta do is pray. You know, don't take it aside. Just pray. Just pray. Just pray. Pray and stand. Above all else, pray. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah, it, it was it was totally, um, yeah, the, the month of February is flipped upside down. You know, it, weather-wise, it got even worse. Weather-wise, it's been bizarre. Was a couple of, was it this past week, this past week, a couple of days, was it Wednesday, we had 60 degrees spring-like weather. Friday, snow, sleet, ice, slush, about five inches of snow. And it was the most horrible thing I had to dig in. Most horrible thing I had to dig in, folks. My back was hurting after seven and a half hours of digging snow, uh, shoveling to make sure, clean out the sidewalks at the mall. And not only that, with, with two 15-minute breaks for lunch and br for breakfast and lunch, but at the same time, I was, by the time I got home, I flopped on the bed, didn't want to do anything. Thank God that I had those two videos of high rollers. One thing, one beautiful thing about YouTube is this. They let us schedule our episodes, our shows. That's the beautiful thing about YouTube, so thank you for that, at least. So what else happened in February? Ah, the Countdown Fight Capcom. Street Fighter VI is coming, uh, is coming soon. They're teasing a lot. It looks like Ryu has got himself a new challenger, I believe. And and the guy and the young guy looks like Hook from AEW. <laughs> and the Elimination Chamber happened. Three women's matches happened, which is really an improvement in Saudi Arabia. A lot of people still don't like the fact that WWE is doing events in Saudi Arabia. And all that, we get AEW, Cody Rhodes and Brandy Loves left, left AEW. Cesaro is now gone from the WWE. Lots of bizarre, bizarre, crazy things have happened. But the bottom line is, is folks, I'll tell you one thing right now. Is also, we'll get oh, also Street Fighter Six. Yeah, the reason why I'm not interested in Street Fighter Six is unfortunately it's PlayStation and Xbox exclusive. I don't have the newest systems because they were too expensive for my blood. The cheapest of all the um, new generation systems that came out was the Nintendo Switch, and I have that. Speaking of Nintendo Switch, uh, speaking of all platforms, Capcom Fighting Collection. I, I've been hyped about this for, this is the second week, the third week in a row I've been hyped. Second week in a row I'm hyped up about this. Um, yeah, Street, uh, it's coming, honoring uh, 35 years of Capcom Fighting games. And Capcom Fighting Collection, 10 games, all available on all platforms. Check this out. This will be the debut for Doc Stalkers. On the Nintendo uh, on and a Nintendo console, because prior to this, Doc Stalkers was Xbox exclusive with the Doc Stalkers Resurrection, um, mostly PlayStation exclusive with Doc Stalkers One and Three, also Sega Saturn exclusive as well. So PlayStation, Sega Saturn, and Xbox exclusive to all three uh, to all those three systems, all those three comp platform companies. Um, the, but the Doc Stalkers will make their debut um vampire hunter 2 vampire savior 2 will make their debut on the west coast as well so the entire doc stalker slash vampire series vampire is the name of docs for the doc stalkers in japan but the fighting game will make their nintendo debut console debut red earth will make their home console debut all over so that's huge unless you have like unless you're like me you have them on emulators or something like that, and you get to play them on the emulators. I probably, like I said, I just recently played Night Warriors. Check out that episode if you can. Um, listen, it's it's going to be cool. You know, it's going to be something, all right. But, but um, I, I tell you, like I said, and they, they still have the baseball lockout. Um, the only agreement they have, the universal a DH is going to be universal this year. That means there'll be a DH in the National League during the regular season games. You know what? I like that idea. It keeps, listen, there are many, many times, you know, what, what, what does it give the American, the American League has too much an advantage with the DH in the lineup many, many times before because you have an extra bat in there, all right? Well, the pitchers usually, I know a lot of people are saying, ah, oh, it sucks. We're not going to see Bartolo Colon hit another home run. That was the public. And now that Bartolo 
Cologne home run is going to be the rarest of rare feats ever. That video is going to get a lot of views, man. And Bartolo Cologne is something else, let me tell you. And uh, <laughs> so that's that's another thing, too. So I'm, But personally, I can't wait because I'm kind of confused since we have interleague play. I want to see who's going to be the DH for both. Who's going to be the regular DH for the National League teams? Who, you know, that it could help out a lot of National League teams. Trust me. That could be it. If we can get a baseball season going, the owners and the players can sit down and get together. Please, if nothing gets done, we're going to see some losses of games. I'll tell you one thing. Somebody's going to get a chapata and the cabasa. Epa, you know. Uh, you know that means it's Portuguese a slap upside the head. You know, gib slap. Remember the gib slap? Leroy Jethro gib slap. I know De Tony Donozo, played by Michael Weatherly. Rumor has he maybe come back to NCIS. I don't know if that's the case. Donozo the Bozo is coming back. I don't know what's going on. Somebody call my mama. Anyways, waha! <laughs> Anyways, so, but um, the big major change is happening in our, you know, the last five months, like, I want to top it off. The last five months, me and my family have been through a lot. The past five months, so I said, um, we grew up towards the end of 2021, coming into 2022. We've been through the most challenging times since October of 2021, and our family has been physically and mentally tested and you know especially myself more of a, me for a mental standpoint than anything else with everything going on in the world right now you know I never thought that you know I am just amazed by how you know like I said it's been it's been surreal man it's been surreal you know um, October one of my sisters decided to move out and um in and she decided to move into my brother and my sister-in-law up in new hampshire and it, it it was hard for my parents to accept that and um, like i said a lot you know like i said the, the culture nowadays has changed my parents are well aware of it the one thing i am doing is being well aware of what's been going on where my surroundings and even though i choose to not talk about drama or anything like that but I am well aware of my surroundings. I figure what when is the right time to talk about everything. You know what I mean? And um, I'm trying to be as nice as I can be, polite as me. What I'm trying to be like the voice of reason, like you know, like okay, keep, keep an open mind, keep a clear mind, use wisdom of words you say. So, anyways, so yeah, you know, with the, with the, and a lot of people don't like our family at the moment, and which is sad because our families, my family, my parents are like the coolest parents ever. And yeah, they're not perfect. But you know what? They've loved on me, and you know they've helped me in a lot of situations. And uh, you know, we had a lot of changes happening. And uh, this is this past Thanksgiving was possibly the lowest Thanksgiving we ever had because it was just my parents, my two sisters, and me sitting at the Thanksgiving table. Not like Thanksgiving is the past. The holidays are the past, man. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna miss those holidays. We had a lot of fun. But a lot of things happened, a lot of circumstances have happened, and in December, my family caught COVID, and my mom and my sisters recovered. I stayed away from everybody. I, I had to, because we were short, I was short-handed at work, and we had two people left, right, Black Friday weekend, two people have already left, and, um, and I had to stay away from, every, I had to stay away from everybody in order to, um, Keep working, and I don't want to shorthand them as well, you know. So, all right, I only want to run back. Um, and my father ended up in the hospital for um, when he almost the entire month spent the holidays in the hospital. Got out three days before the new year. Praise and he and praise God, he's back working now. In fact, today's his first day back at work. It was very tough. It was very tough, but the uh, place of employment is not that far from where we live. And they've been very, very helpful towards us. They asked about us. They, they say, hey, listen, we're here if you need us, and we're there for you guys. And we do appreciate that wholeheartedly. And um, it has been. But I'm trying to keep a, um, a happy face, a smile, a smile on my happy face, trying to do these YouTube videos. It wasn't easy. Trust me. I cried and I prayed. I cried to the Lord and I prayed. And, but... The Lord heard my prayers, and praise God, you know. God answers prayers. My dad is strong. I pray that he'll be all right. And 
But also, um, what I'm excited about, though, let's, 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 you know, I praise God that things are starting to look up a little bit. I just got my state check back. I'm not going to tell you how much I got, but this is that, you know, I'm really, really happy. I deposited that, so that's, praise God, you know, um, we're good. But I'm excited because in the upcoming months, there are going to be a lot more changes, but good changes are happening. A change that I like to call the pimp. Now, you may be thinking, Eric, you're a Christian, and you want to be a pimp. No, not that kind of pimp. Personal improvement movement process. Pimp. Yeah. Personal improvement movement process. Now, what does this mean? That means there is going to be something happening that is going to be in a personal improvement. I'll give you a bit of a hint. The background's going to change. That's all I'm gonna tell you at this time. I wanna give I wanna keep this as a surprise, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of a hint. The background is going to change. And this process of personal movement improvement movement process, the pimp. That's what I'm talking about. This is the pimp I'm talking about. I'm not talking about Godfather. And the hose. Personal improvement movement process. Pimp. <laughs> That's what's going to happen in the upcoming months. Will I will I update you? Well, it all depends on the situation and how how it goes. Because there may become a time where I'm not going to be available for on the internet for a while. Unless things happen. Unless things change, okay? So, but I want you guys to know, be patient. Because the show will go a lot, a whole 10,000 times a lot better, man. Trust me. And once that day comes, once, once everything has happened, let's say it's by the end of the summer. End of the summer, I'll be happy as a clam, y'all. I'll be so happy. In fact, I'll be so more relaxed. You're going to say... And then a lot of you guys are going to say, hey, give me, you're like the Jeffersons. You're moving on up, moving on up to the east side with the deluxe apartment in the sky. Personal movement, improvement, movement process. Pimp, y'all. We're doing this thing. The pimp method. Personal improvement, movement process. That means there will be a movement happening. That is going to be a personal improvement on my part. But there's a process to it. Personal improvement movement process. Pimp. And once again, people got to take this out of context. Go, Eric, you're a Christian. You just said that. And you're going to be as a pimp? No, not that kind of pimp. No, no, no. This. This. And you will say, oh, I get it. Okay. Tr and trust me, folks. When it's all said and done, and I will say two words. Process complete. All right? That's my final thoughts of February 2022. A lot of stuff happening in the upcoming months. Can't wait. And the Welling City Festival is a go once again in July. Boy, summertime is going to be fun for me. Capcom Fighting Collection coming out the week before July. And then July, two weeks from that, two weeks from that, the Welling City Festival. Imagine that. Everybody walking around with Nintendo. Oh, I got a Nintendo Switch. Hey, what game are you playing there? Oh, you got the Capcom Fighting Collection yet? Imagine that. Hey, I'm going to challenge you. Hey, what's going on? Capcom Fighting Collection. Dark Stalkers. And I was like, I'm beating this kid's butt and this kid kicked my butt. This kid this kid kicked my butt and this game came out in the 90s, man. I lost to a kid. Ah! <laughs> I never know what's going to happen. I'm hoping the Portuguese Feast happens though this year. And I'm hoping to um, bring you some live some live reports from there. And I'll tell you one thing right now. I'm excited for what, you know, I'm excited for this year. I'm excited for the upcoming stuff this year. I'm hoping, I'm praying that Things will go well in this country. I pray that, you know, things happen and everything else. And I pray for everybody. And I mean everybody. If God can love everybody, so can I. So to everyone out there, I don't care if you're gay. I don't care if you're straight. I don't care if you believe in God. I don't care if you don't believe in God. I don't care if you're black, white, Asian, Spanish, all that. I don't care if you're even a troll that I blocked. I love you all. Why? That's what the Bible says, to love. 
yeah, I don't approve of the word of the lifestyle you live in, or I don't approve of the words you come at me with. But I'm gonna love you, not in the love that you think, but more like a brother love. Like it's okay, everything's gonna be okay. I got your back. All right, I can't support the lifestyles you guys live or anything like that, but I can. But I can like you. I can like you, and you can like me. Listen, you don't have. You know, if you come on my channel. And like my content, that's fine. That's great. Remember, I want to be excellent to you. So be excellent to each other. That's the bottom line. The whole moral of the whole thing of this video. What is my ultimate phrase for 2022 February? February 2022, my final thought is one phrase. Be excellent to each other. And that's what we need to be. And that way, we'll be all right. Trust me. I think it's good. I think it's best for... I think it'll be good for you to be excellent to each other. I love you all, guys. I love you all. So, that's all the time we have on the show. Then we got Monday Night Raw tonight. The road to WrestleMania. The march to WrestleMania. Because tomorrow is March. That means this coming Sunday is my birthday. I'm probably going to do a birthday special episode. Maybe I think about doing a birthday live chat for YouTube. Hmm. Maybe. I might be doing that. I might be thinking about that. So, you guys want to join in? Maybe, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe I'll surprise everybody and say, hey, I'm going to do a birthday live chat on YouTube. Join me. Be a lot of fun. You know? Oh, ah uh -huh. Hey, wait. Hey, 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 hey. There you go. Thank you. I hate it when that stupid computer does that. So, remember, upcoming months, personal improvement movement process, the pimp. I'll be going through the pimp. And no, not the godfather pimp. Personal improvement movement process. <laughs> I, can, I can picture everybody going, what has happened to Eric and Lima? Has he, has he lost his mind? No, I'm just trying. To, I'm just. I'm just try, trying to be entertaining at the same time. Trying to be full of good heart, full of good cheer, and everything else. And sometimes when something happens, when a situation happens, you learn from that, you know. And I always, always been that type of person. Again, I want to applaud Jordan Little for handling handling that situation over this past weekend on Friday. Thank you, uh, James Mitten is legit. Check out his channel. It's ZTB. I like the way you try to, um, you know, make odds and ends and be a voice of reason. Hopefully that you come to the conclusion and I know and I'm really sorry for all the parties involved in that situation and uh, I'm really sorry um, on behalf of the of being a host of Rant and Rave I do apologize for what has happened as well because and you know I uh, want to uh, like I said I want to make sure I represent Rant and Rave correctly I want to have a little bit of fun at the same time and prevent a lot of drama so uh, I've always been the type of person to uh, you know, put smiles on people's faces and whatnot. And that's why the majority of my videos are nothing but gameplays, video games, t wrestling talk, baseball talk. Excuse me, and all that. So, just want to, you know, that's why, you know, a lot of people don't like it. Don't like the content I have. They give, um, they live off on drama and all that. I'm sorry. That's not my bag, man. I want to love people, you know. I want, I want to love people like a brother, you know. God be love. I'm born again Christian. I want to set that example. I don't want to trash talk anybody. I don't want to say any, any crap about anybody. All I do is pray for people that basically don't like me. I pray for them. I pray that, you know, that their souls get touched by the Lord, you know, and make them realize that, hey, you know, I'm not a bad guy, you know. I'm not perfect. I may be a born again Christian, but remember, I'm not perfect. Never have been, never will be. And I praise God for all of you, all right? So, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. I gotta go, gotta go. Um, uh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. And, uh, and gotta go, gotta go. Uh, gotta go. I'm sick and tired of politics. I know I know what's going on, so gotta go right now. So, 
so anyways, um, so, so here we go. So, yeah, so I will see you guys later. And until, uh, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you in the next episode, 1008, Monday Night Raw. Final Monday Night Raw of February 2022, folks. So until then, I wish all of you, and I mean all of you all over the world, the peace, the love, and God's blessings from him above through me to you. I'm giving you God's blessings. And remember, like Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Been my longest one to date. But remember, folks, I love you all. And you've been a blessing to me. And hope I was a blessing to you. And I'll be praying for all of you. Why? Because I love you. And God loves you. And Jesus loves you. Because you're special. You're unique. Be who you are. There's, not, there's people out there not going to like who you are. Or what you support. Or what you do. But just keep being yourself. No matter what. Keep being who you are. Yes. I may not support. The lifestyles. That are out there. But I care about you. The person only. Not about what. I care about the who. See, God don't look like the outward of a man. He looks at the inward. He don't care about what you do. He cares about who you are. So do I. Guys have a lot of fun, huh? Much respect and love to all of you. Have a good, have a good rest of your day.